So first thing that um, I want to cover just because um, of a realtor and how are you getting in front of realtors and explaining to them um, options that are available to their buyers should the seller not pay a buyer commission. Okay, like should the seller not pay a buyer commission? Um, I think this is so important to arm our agents with just to make their anxiety levels go down, right? Tell them exactly how they can do it, what to say, uh, and then send them like an example, right? Of like what that looks like for potential buyers. Um, and when I say for potential buyers, this helps them basically lock down leads. So it's not even a referral to me yet. Right. It's like me doing this for them to show their lead, like how do things get paid in option A, B, or C. Right. So if there's three options, in my opinion, I'm going to share my screen and walk you through an example of what I made uh, for. Uh, sorry, I got two screens up here. Here we go. Computer over here, share. And, and, and by the way, guys, I'm going to label this and we'll have a link down below to it. But the, the buyer agent compensation total cost analysis. And, yeah. you know, if, if you're a manager watching this, make sure all your loan officers know how to do this and make sure they not only know how to create this, they know how to talk about this with an agent. A hundred percent. So this is a typical scenario in my market, about a $700,000 purchase price. And there's four columns on here because there's four different ways right? That a buyer on a $700,000 home, putting 10% down in this scenario, can go about handling the buyer side commission. How does the realtor get paid? So I simply in the video walk them through this and I just tell everyone to focus on the summary section. There's four columns and I read them and walk them through it. So in the first column here, what I'm showing you all is that this is just how it was Prenar and how it probably will be, honestly, on um, call it 80 plus percent of transactions moving forward, at least for the time being, right? So this is just a normal 10% down purchase, payments 5132, and their total cash out of pocket with down payment and closing cost is right around $83,400, okay? So me explaining this in the video is that, hey, this is the most likely option, right? That is going to happen. A seller is gonna provide the buyer side commission um, and you're making a $700,000 purchase, et cetera, et cetera. And this is what the numbers look like. Now let's say in column number two, um, the, the seller is not providing any type of buyer representation compensation. So that means that you're liable for it, right? As the consumer. So I'm using a 3%, right? Um, a commission on this, on how the buyer's agent is paid. And I'm just showing them where it says financed in loan. So what I'm showing this individual here is that, hey, we can finance that loan, that $21,000 into the loan amount. So instead of having a $630,000 loan, you're going to have a $651,000 loan, which is the buyer side commission, right? And your payment is going to be $52.75. So your payment goes up about $142 a month, right? To finance that commission, but you don't have to come out of pocket with it. So the cash to close is exactly the same. So that's one really easy, simple solution when you explain it to a buyer of that if you can't do number A, number B is an option. Now, uh, the third column where it says financed in price. So this means that we would be raising the purchase price by the commission, right? And then asking you know, for a credit of sorts um, in order to make that happen. So we raise it, it's itemized on the HUD, et cetera. Um, and in this case, you know, your loan amount is gonna be 648,900. Um, so it's going to be, you know, $18,000 higher, et cetera. Um, but if you look here, um, the payment is actually, right, like more than if you finance it in the loan. But this is an opportunity for you if you wanted to do it this way. So your payments there would be $52.86. Total cash out of pocket goes up a little bit uh, by $20, you know, $100-ish. So showing them that, hey, you can finance it in the loan in column two. You can also finance it in the price right in column three or in column number four if you just wanted to pay for it right yourself you just wanted to write a check for it pay for it in that case your payment would be exactly the same as it would be if the seller was paying it at 5132 but your cash to close is going to be 104,000 versus 83 to 85,000 so this just gives a really clear um, sense uh, to the buyer on exactly how it can work, that they do have options. And just like any TCA, uh, Dave and crew, like I always like to show what's obvious to me, right? So obvious to me is like, hey, column number one or column number two, 
right? Like, like that's what like gets obvious to me, but it's not obvious to people that don't know what we do. And so showing them all the options and letting them come to their own conclusion as to which are the best options for them and letting them pick is critical. And this is what we're doing uh, for our agents within the NAR settlement conversation.